Yes. <laughs> yes, Loki season two. I've seen the first four episodes. And for those who know me, for those who follow the channel, you probably have heard me say Loki season one is my favorite MCU show. And with season two, that remains true. I was so excited for this and it didn't disappoint, which is like, it's so good to feel that way because I was so excited but worried that it wasn't going to do season one justice. But right away, episode one is just, it's amazing. And it picks up, you know, right where we left off with the last episode of Loki season one. It goes right into it and it's chaos and it's epic. Now, this isn't a review. I am going to be doing a spoiler free review for Loki season two tomorrow at 7 a.m. So be on the lookout for that. This is just my first initial reactions. And honestly, they're pretty dang good. It's very comparable to the first season. There's a lot of mystery to it. The tone is something that I've just always really loved about the Loki series. And it's there. The characters are there. The same ones that we know, they're great. There's some new characters that are also great. Got to give it up to Kiyoi Kwan, like his character, OB. He is so good at it. He's, his character so good. He's quirky and it's amazing. I think fans are going to be really excited with this. I think this is going to restore some faith in some of those fans who are kind of, you know, barely holding on to the MCU. I've seen the comments. I've seen your complaints and I understand. But this, to me, is a game changer. Now, one thing I will say and I'll leave it at this, is that, again, I've only seen the first four episodes, and it did kind of end with a big question mark. I'm really curious to see what happens in episode five and six, and I will say, depending on what happens, that'll determine if this show is going to be truly amazing for a second season, or just kind of like, pretty good, because it's, it's fantastic so far. There are some slow parts to some episodes, but overall, again, the tone and the, the mystery and everything to it, it fits really, really well. And there's a lot of fast paced parts as well. A lot of like <gasps> shocking moments. But depending on what they do with the next part, it'll really it's not going to be make or break because it's again, it's really good. But they could make it just truly fantastic if they end it right. And I feel like it's going to really dive into the next part of the MCU as well. So we'll see how it connects. We'll see how it ends. I, I'm actually kind of curious. I mean, I'm, I don't know how it's going to end, which is crazy because typically I have a decent idea based off things I've heard or theories in my mind. But now I'm like, there's a lot of ways I could go with it. There's a lot of things they could do. It could be fantastic. And I think it is going to be fantastic because seriously, they, they nailed it with season two. It feels just like season one, just like a continuation. So oh yeah, I'm super, super excited. Again, I'll say a lot more and my spoiler free review tomorrow. We might dive into a little bit of spoilers at the end, but I'll, you know, do a spoiler warning before. So if you're curious about that, tune in tomorrow and uh, yeah, let me know how excited you are for Loki season two. I'll see you in the video tomorrow. Woof woof.